if you want to show object in the inspector, it's pretty easy. Just use the serialized fill attributes and just show it in the inspector. But hey, from some reason you see the string but you don't see the dictionary. That is because you can't serialize the dictionary. But my friends, we can do whatever we want with just few extra steps. We will need to serialize the dictionary one item at a time, so let's create a new class for the dictionary item. Inside the item class we want to get the string and a game object. For us to be able to serialize the thing later, we need to use the serialize attribute for each thing we want to use. Let's create a serialized field for our dictionary item array so it will be our dictionary. Now we have an array of the items but we can't see the fields inside the item. That is because we didn't use serialized field on those. Let's create another serializable class for a new dictionary class and put the array of the items in this class. That way we can use the new dictionary class, serialize it and use it as a dictionary with all of the items inside. So now we have a dictionary with a list of items but we can't use any of the dictionary functions on it. So we'll create a function to convert this to a dictionary. A very simple function that creates a new dictionary then add all the items one by one to that dictionary and returns it. Just remember that we need the dictionary's item parameters to be public so we can use them in other places like in this function for example. And on start we can just call that function and put this in our dictionary and then use it as as normal. It's really important to learn how to serialize things properly so you can have a better workflow and work faster and more efficiently. Check those links to learn more about this. See you there. Bye!